What's up, internet, you awesome peeps, you? It's me, it's Rich, I'm back again. All right, so today I'll be updating you guys for my 366 days of movies. And today is days 28, 29, and 30. So I did it last video, I'm gonna do it this video and probably gonna keep doing this every video from now on. For the viewers who's just watching this for the very first time, thank you, first of all. I am Richard Bendo. Hey, how's it going? It is my New Year's resolution to myself and every year we always say we're gonna do something and do something and do something and not do it at all. So that is my resolution this year and I'm sticking to it. Today I'll be talking about days 28, 29, 30. Let's go. Day 28, I watched Aliens on the Moon, The Truth Exposed. Oh yeah, so man, this movie, this movie, this movie. All right, so first of all, this movie is a documentary um, and just like what the title says, it's about aliens on the moon and the truth exposed. <laughs> if you guys didn't know already, and for the first time, for the first people, for the first people? What? For the first viewers who's watching this, the very first time, uh, I'm, I'm a big sci-fi guy. I mean, I love everything, for the most part, uh, but sci-fi is pretty much like my bread and butter, you know what I mean? And of course, and also superheroes. I love superheroes. Uh, but this movie, I, I, I love freaking watching these movies, or these documentaries, you know, about Bigfoot, the Loch Ness Monster, freaking the Chupacabra, everything and anything on like, the sci-fi, the fantasy reality and all that stuff. Uh, I love watching all that stuff. I, 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 I eat that shit up. This particular documentary is uh, pretty interesting. Um, it's just one, I mean, I can't really say anything else. It's, uh, I thought it was a cool doc, it's a, it's a decent documentary, not the best one I've seen so far. And I'm gonna keep talking about this documentary if you haven't seen it already, and it's called Going Clear. And it's about the Scientology. Check that out. Check it out. Um. Anyways, uh, this documentary, interesting, very, very interesting, and um, I, I can't really say anything else. I mean, besides, uh, I thought it was good. You know, it, it, I mean, I thought it was decent. I thought it was an okay documentary. Um. Other than that, it's not. It's nothing I haven't seen before. You know, for the most parts, these documentaries and and maybe we'll find out soon. Or like, in the end, we'll never know. Or, or it goes something like, and we'll find out the truth one of these days. It's, 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 it's always that ending where you're like, you know, oh, maybe we'll finally figure it out in the next couple of years or, or I don't know, if something happens. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Again, it's, the, it's, it's an alien documentary. We'll never really, side note, side note, no lie, no joke right now, but I honestly believe in aliens. It's a fucking huge, you know how big the frickin' universe is? It's huge. It's huge. So yeah, I, I, I believe in aliens. I really do. I really do. Seriously. I do. Um, brrr, yeah. Aliens on the moon, the truth exposed. It's a cool documentary. I didn't, I mean, it, it was cool to, con the, the, you know, the, the topic's cool, but as far as the documentary goes, it was... That was aight. That was aight. Moving right along. Day 29, I watch Gone in 60 Seconds. Gone in 60 Seconds, y'all. All right, so Gone in 60 Seconds. Frickin' cool movie. I really like this movie. It stars Nicolas Cage and Angelina Jolie. Back then. Oh, and also, it had a pretty decent cast. Cast is pretty good. All right, so this movie's an action heist movie with cars. How cool is that? First of all, I like cars too. You know, I, I'm not super into cars, but just like the Italian job is probably one of the best heist movies ever, 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 ever. And that one's with cars also. But yeah, uh, this Gone in 60 Seconds, cool action heist movie. Uh, in a way, I actually think of it as more of like, a, you know, uh, Ocean's Eleven, except with cars. But I guess you can kind of say that with Italian's job also. Anyways, this was a fun movie, just seeing them steal the cars. It, it's it's very straightforward. There's no like intellectual thing they have to do is basically break in the the warehouse or wherever it is and just steal the cars. You know what I mean? And that was and that premise was pretty cool enough of itself to, you know, hold the to hold the whole movie together. Again, I like this movie, but honestly, I love it the, the Italian job is just that one was a cool movie. That one, I think that one's actually better than this movie. If anything, this movie had better cars since they weren't just limited to the Mini Coopers, but the Italian job, ah, oh, 
But we're not talking about the Italian job. We're talking about Gone in 60 Seconds. And overall, that movie was fun. It was a fun movie. It's a good movie. I thought it was good. Personally, I thought it was good. Um, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Next, last but not least, Day 30. So Day 30, I watched The Warriors. The Warriors. The Warriors. All right, so this movie's fairly old. It actually came out in 1979. It's the Warriors, man, come on. And this movie's an action thriller uh, directed by Walter Hill and actually based on Sol Urich's 1965 novel of the same name. Yep, looking at my notes, like usual, like usual. For the most part, when I first, I heard about this movie, and it's one of those cult movies that everyone talks about. The Warriors, you gotta check it out, you gotta check it out, you gotta check it out, and I finally got around to it. Uh, anyway, so when I watched this movie, um, I had this preconceived notion that I feel like I should watch this movie as when I, as if I was living in the 1970s. You know, like if it was 1979 now and I watched this movie, that's how I would watch this movie. That actually worked out a lot because if I kind of just put myself in this, um, you know, if I watched this movie as it, as of today. It, uh, for me personally, it, I like the movie personally, but I watched it with my cousin and he didn't like this movie at all. He didn't like this movie at all. And so I feel like watching this movie, knowing that this was made in 1979, watching it in that perspective gave me a little bit more insight and gave me a little bit more of a, of an appreciation of, of for this movie. Um, it's not your typical action movie there's definitely probably the best scene i i believe is the bathroom scene and that's all i'm gonna say that scene was freaking awesome uh again overall um this movie i thought this movie is a good movie it's a really good movie it's a solid movie but i think if if you're looking for an action movie in the standards of today this movie wouldn't really fulfill that it, it's a little bit it's a little bit more um uh, how should i uh, i guess deeper it's 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 an action movie but there's not a lot of action in it i mean there is but again in today's standard an action movie today is completely different from an action movie you know in the 80s and 70s so like i said this movie was probably back then when people watched back then when people were just like oh <gasps> You know, pre people were probably not freaked out, but shocked. Shocked, there we go. Shocked is perfect word for it, watching this movie. And again, that bathroom scene. Oh, damn. Anyways, uh, overall, I actually really like this movie a lot. Um, now I'm just imagining what a, uh, what a, a reboot of this movie will be today. Like the reimagining of this movie to today in this society. Holy crap, I mean, yeah, yeah. Overall, The Warriors, cool movie. Very cool movie. Go check it out. I believe it's still on Netflix. And that's it, guys. That's all I watched. Let's recap, shall we? Day 28, Aliens on the Moon, The Truth Exposed. Day 29, Gone in 60 Seconds. Mm. That was that was supposed to be a car. And finally, day 30, The Warriors. And just like always, to all my viewers out there, Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. And that's it. I'm Rich, and I'm out. Stay awesome, my friends.